Shout out to Get Motor Athletes. What's good, YouTube? Your boy Bosco back again with another sneaker video. Hopefully, you're having a great day wherever you are in the universe. As you can see in front of me, I got some more shoes and I need your help making this decision. We have the Jordan 10 Dorn Beckers to my right, your left. Next to that shoe, which is something newer, which is the Air Max 270 Balfin. Let me know what you guys think about either one of these shoes in the comment section below. I need your help. Now, I went to Foot Locker yesterday, if you guys saw the video, to check out some shoes that I want to do a review on, which you guys will see soon. While I was there checking those out, I ran across these bad boys right here. The Air Max 270 Balfin Nike. Pretty dope shoe. The colorway is different. It's, it's in commemorance of the ACG. Uh, it has some ACG colorways. Very dope shoe. The colorways pop. Stands out. I thought the shoe was fire. So I scooped these up to do a review for you guys. I wanted to see what you guys thought about this shoe. And then I started to really like it once I tried it on. I felt like I always wanted to keep it. And then like right at the same time that happened, as I was thinking that, I get a notification on my phone that these sold on eBay, which are the Dornbecker 10, um, Air Jordan 10, yeah, the Dornbecker 10s. Fire shoe, I've had these for a little while since running into my plug. I like them, they're cool, but I'm iffy on 10s. 10s are dope, but once they get worn in enough, they start to look and sound funny, and I do mean sound funny, like starts making like a squeaking noise. So before I have to deal with that, man, let me just go on and get rid of them. I actually was able to sell them for about the same price, a little bit more than what I bought these for. So that's where my dilemma comes in, and I need your help. Should I either A, sell these and keep these, and just you know say like the seller this shoe paid for this shoe, or should I sell this shoe and sell this shoe? Or should I keep them both? I just don't know what to do. Let me know what your, what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Let's go ahead and get a little closer up of these shoes and I'll tell you what I like about them and what I don't like about them, you dig? Before we get into that, smash the like button. Let's try and get this video to at least 100 likes. Don't forget to leave comments. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Okay, so the first shoe we're gonna go to is the one I just picked up. This Dorn Becker, released in 2000, what was it, 14? 2013. Very dope shoe. The shoe is pretty dope. The colorway is nice. Gives you an OVO feel. Black with a red print over it. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Maybe that's like tire marks. Because on the pull tab, it has like almost like a tire marking on it. Along with the insole, there's tire markings there. Dornbeckers are one of them shoes that Jordan comes out with from kids who are, who are ill. Um, and they come out with special shoes. They let them design them. And this one here, for me, has always been one of the iffier ones out of the Dornbecker series or collection. This one never really stood out to me a lot, but I was fortunate enough to get them in hand and actually own them for a while, but I realized that I'm not really sold on them. I mean, the shoe is dope. The outsoles is pretty fire. It's clear with that tire marking going down the middle. Of course, I'll get you guys some up close and personal visuals of these shoes if you have not seen them in person. But I just don't know, man. I, I don't I don't really know if I want to keep them. Because I know, like I said, I, I've had the C, the red the red tins, the one that came out like on a Valentine's Day a few years back. And those were cool, but after I broke them in and had them for a while, they are very comfortable. However, the Air Max bubble or whatever's in the midsole start making like noises. And I I wanted to get rid of these before that started to happen. These are still in great shape. So this is not happening with these. But I remember what happened with the other ones, and that's why I sold them. So I think I want to get rid of these regardless, but I'm like, do I get rid of these and just, you know, you know, do other things and, you know, take care of whatever else and keep these ones right here, these Air Max 270s, which is like the newer model of the 270, the Biofin model, different from the regular 270, very similar, kind of similar in the silhouette, but this one a little bit more bulkier. This one's representing like ACG. This is like a more of a, a off-road, um, hiking type of ex, you know, uh, trainer type shoe as opposed to a running shoe like just the Air Max 270 is. But this colorway stood out to me. Of course, bright colors going on. It seemed like a summertime shoe, not so much like a fall color shoe like the other two colorways that have released in this shoe. The midsole is pretty dope. It's a white midsole. The Air Max is just, look at how chunky that thing is around the whole back part of the shoe. It seems like it's very comfortable. I tried them on and they are comfortable. They are on the heavier side. That's why they are for training, like 
hiking and stuff as opposed to running on the track and you know uh you know fast training or sprint training you wouldn't want to wear these for this but this is kind of marketed as the lifestyle 270 with all the different colorways going on the strapping going on the lacing system very dope shoe the collar on the um you know you got the pull tabs on the collar of the shoe so it's easy to slide on there's nice soft cushioning on the inside of the shoe very very comfortable shoe very dope shoe this one retail for 160 and like I said, I got these off for a little bit more than that. So I just want to know, man, what would you guys do? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Are you keeping both of them, getting rid of them? Do you guys like these? Let me know what you guys rate these on a scale from 1 to 10. How do they compare? So running shoe versus like a basketball shoe, even though these are both lifestyle shoes. That's what they're meant for. Hiking and trailing, basketball. But of course, most people wear these for style. So let me know what you guys think about these shoes in the comment section below. Get to some highlights, some on feet of these shoes. And uh, I'm out of here, man. Hopefully you watched the video to the end. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Street meets taste, nigga. Street meets taste, nigga.